15 years ago, Turkey sold its first TV drama abroad. One episode traded hands with a station in Kazakhstan for just $250. Well, now they're in demand all over the world, with the export market worth $250 million. Charlotte Dubinsky has been finding out why Turkish dramas are striking such a chord with viewers from Serbia to Chile. It may be in Turkish, but over the last few years, this has become one of the most watched programs in Spanish-speaking Latin America. A Thousand and One Nights is part of a long list of exported dramas helping Turkey's TV industry boom. So what's the appeal? Impossible loves, conflict within families, the rich and the poor, cultural differences. These are topics that already exist. But Turkish dramas tell these stories in a unique way. People can easily relate to the characters. That's why it's widely watched all over the world, from Latin America to the Balkans, the MENA region, everywhere except for North America. Around 130 Turkish TV dramas have been sold around the world, reaching an audience of more than 400 million people. One of the most popular TV series in Turkey right now is Derilish, and I'm here on the set of the historical drama, which centers on the story of the father of the founder of the Ottoman Empire. It's already been bought and screened by dozens of countries across the world, and many more are already lined up to buy the rights to screen it. <laughs> The third series is currently being filmed, and its success is partly due to its attention to detail. When we started this drama, we had no materials to create a 13th century atmosphere. So we had to produce our own materials. The preparation was quite long. It took 10 months to a year. It was very detailed work. We constructed the tents from scratch, the accessories, the furnitures, the wood products, the swords, and we trained the horses and the actors. Last year, the export value of Turkish dramas was worth $250 million. In 2016, that's expected to rise by 20 per cent to $300 million. And with demand set to increase, Turkey is sure of more blockbuster sales. Charlotte Dubinsky, TRT World. Well, let's get another angle on this now. Erkan Akiolo joins me here in the studio. He is the CEO of Brand in Royalty Agency here in Turkey. Erkan, thank you for joining us on Money Talks. I just want to start very quickly with what your company does. Your company specializes in product placement. Yes. So just explain what that is very briefly and how do you choose for your clients where they should put their products? Actually, <clears throat> product placement is, a, uh, is an area where we put the brands into the movies or other uh, stories. But uh, in Turkey, this is a just uh, a very new, uh, and uh, we are just... Uh, so it's a relatively new kind of marketing in Turkey, but of course, anybody who watches James Bond will see all the Aston Martin, the BMWs, the watches and so on. But this is just taking off in Turkey. Actually, the Turkish film industry makes uh, a big success uh, yeah. in the world in the last years, actually. And uh, during this success, uh, the export is uh, very important in this. And uh, uh, this year, in 2016, uh, are, the aim is to uh, go on to $300 million. Mm. Uh, but uh, it's, it's just a new uh, field. and. Mm. Uh, Movies and advertisement, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it should belong to each other, but advertisement, in advertisements, the brands mm -hmm. are uh, the king. They now, are, I know they you, the, you, you mm -hmm. have a few uh, big clients, which, um, you know, yes. like footwear, for mm -hmm. example, and if they want to put their product in a film or a TV series, how do you match the two together? Actually, uh, we are <clears throat> we are looking for the uh, fields for the for the end consumers uh, for the for the movies mm. uh, programs uh, where they need to be, mm. and uh, during this uh, we know how to integrate the brands into the series or into the movies. Ah. So you have to do a lot of research about who watches those programs yes. or films and whether or not they're the right demographic for your client. We are searching. We are searching, and we know all the uh, sector actually. Uh, but the main uh, important thing. 
uh, is uh, how to do it because uh, advertisement in advertisement the brand is the king is is, is, is on is in the first uh, field but mm. in product placement the brand is always and should always be in the second place uh -huh. you, right. you so should not, not too prominent otherwise it will disturb the story yes uh, and uh, if you disturb the story uh, yeah. and uh, the end consumer uh, he they, they they see it in a first I'm moment saying. and right. this is not the right it's very unsubtle yes uh, just briefly uh, in a word then uh, the success of tv and uh, turkish films and tv that is doing your business a world of good uh, that is doing the business good but uh, it's also important that the brands are understanding what is a movie, what is the film industry. Ah, and that's uh, where you come in yes. and you help them with that. Yes. Okay, Erkan Akiolu, thank you so much for your expertise and your analysis there. I appreciate it. You are